I only got one burn on my hand. Not too bad. <laughs> What is going on guys and welcome back to another video. So in the last video I was working on the back deck on my drawn boat. I got the frame all built out, I got the hatches cut out, and I threw on some paint. Well this morning I woke up and threw on one more coat of paint and that takes 24 hours to dry. So while that dries in the garage, I'm gonna go ahead and come out here and work on the electrical. I got in all my wiring in the mail today and my switch panel so I can start on the electrical and that is what we're going to do. I guess we'll start in the back. So back here we have two 12 volt marine batteries. One there and one here. This battery here is brand new. It's gonna be used for my trolling motor up front. And then this battery, this is going to be for all of my electrical stuff like the, the nav lights, LED lights, the bilge pump, control panels, the fuse blocks, everything like that is gonna be ran off this battery. So back here, we have a 1100 gallon per hour bilge pump. That thing pumps out water like crazy. We have six gauge wire that will be connected to the trolling motor. We got a 50 amp circuit breaker for that. Six gauge ring terminals, six gauge uninsulated butt connectors, some 14 gauge heat shrink ring terminals. I guess I ordered two packages without realizing. That was off Amazon, that was off eBay. Not really sure, but they both showed up, so now I have 50, which is good. We got 14 gauge butt connectors, heat shrink with adhesive on the inside. Everything is marine grade. I went to the hardware store to pick up a soldering iron and I found this. This is a burns o -matic. This thing is awesome. It is three in one. So I'm gonna be having a bunch of heat shrink tubing. And this thing is a soldering iron. It has a flame, like a torch, and also shoots out heat. And it just runs off butane. It is wireless. I it said that thing gets up to 2500 Fahrenheit, so it should get pretty hot. It should be hot enough, we'll see. I got some liquid tape. I got some heat shrink tubing that has the adhesive inside of it. Adhesive lined. And that's just a kit with multiple sizes. Then we got a battery kill switch that will go on the electrical battery. If I uh, ever want to kill all the electronics, I easily can. Then we have our 14 gauge wire. We got black and red, 100 feet of each. Then we got the switch panel. So this will be my on off switches for all of my electronics in the boat. I have six switches here. And of course this all came with a bunch of like stickers and icons for to tell you what it is. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we, oh, we also got some hardware here. That is eight self-tapping screws. That is for my fuse block and my battery charger. I will be screwing those into the bench under the back deck. Next we got, I got a 10 pack of these six LED strips. Those are pretty bright, I already tested those out. Those will be going I want to put a few, probably four, under the deck here. So I will just be screwing these under the deck like that. And then it will be on this switch panel. I'll flip a switch and four LED lights will turn on under here. And I will have light under the deck. I was just thinking about this today. Maybe put a few on the lip of a deck like that. That way it shines on the deck. So whenever I'm doing some night fishing, I can see the deck and where I'm stepping. We got the fuse block. This also acts as a bus bar because it has all of the positive and negatives on it as well. And then that has stickers and fuses as well. Then we got a multi-connection battery terminal. I bought this before I ever even planned on building the boat and I'm probably not gonna use this. Also bought this, a battery clip extension, which uh, is a 12 volt or like a car plug-in type thing. I probably won't be using that either. If I do, I'll be cutting off these clips and just hardwiring it into the battery. We got a battery meter, just to have for safe keeps on the boat. If I'm ever out on the water for a long time, I can pull this out and see how charged the batteries are. But that is it. Up front, we got the trolling motor. Goes to this foot pedal, and it has 
I believe 10 gauge what wire yeah so that comes with 10 gauge wiring I'm going to be connecting the 10 gauge wiring to the 6 gauge wire and that's going to shoot all the way back to that battery and that will take care of the trolling motor up here we have a navigation light same in the back right there and then we have this NOCO Genius onboard battery charger. It is waterproof, 8 amp, and it charges two batteries at once. So that will be onboard at all times, connected to the boat. Like I said, that will get screwed on right in this area. But to get that on, I'm going to have to screw on the deck, get that in place, and then I can screw that in place. So today I'm probably not going to wire up anything to this battery so there's kind of a full breakdown of my entire electrical system so yeah this is going to be a project for sure but i'm down for it i wasn't going to film this but i was like i have to film it what am i talking about i filmed the entire process i can't just not film the electrical wiring so that is what i'm doing today but today i'm just going to start with the trolling motor we got six gauge marine wire this stuff is some thick stuff but it will last it is made for being on boats okay so i just ran this six gauge wire through the rib of the boat on the side it goes all the way through there goes under the bench and then comes out up here in front comes out there and goes up here and then it will connect up from here to the wires coming from the foot pedal so I got solder, I got two uninsulated butt connectors, I got a whole kit of adhesive lined heat shrink tubing, and then we got the solder over here heating up. So now I need to attach the 50 amp circuit breaker to the positive wire and I will need some of these. Okay, so now we're at the back of the boat. I went ahead and took off the white on the six gauge marine wire. So this is gonna go about something like that. But I need to add on this 50 amp circuit breaker to protect the wire from overheating and to protect the trolling motor, but mostly the wire. So now we can add the circuit breaker in just like that and then that will be connected to the battery. Pretty simple. Remember those days, those L's I could sleep right now. Pull test. Uh, okay. That's good. Now we need to solder it. When the truth don't work, you start telling lies. Thought you were down the ride, you weren't down the ride. Caught switching, you were picking sides. Don't blink, caught slipping like a slip and slide. I was shooting dice till I got a nosebleed. Money on the floor, can't get cold feet. Took a L, should've put it in all free. Lord, forgive me for my sins, don't know for me. Ah. Oh, that hurt. Burn myself. <laughs> Lost control, now I'm taking charge. Breaking bills, friends breaking off. You could be the youngest, I'm the d, -d, 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 -d Kiss the ring, nah. In the scene like GOT. Stay awake, don't sleep. Like John Snow get R.I.P. Remember those days, those L's I could sleep right now. I get paid, vacate, I'm staying peace. I breaking the blues over steak, I gotta eat right. You could be my peace, son. I don't need that energy around me. I just need sun, you're so cloudy. I wake up good, you're so grouchy. Please get from around me. Just me, myself, and I'm my favorite. Alright, so now the positive wire is done. Now we just need to connect the negative ring terminal on and then connect it to the battery. I was fake, you had to find me. Now I'm 
Okay, so now we have the negative connected and we are done. Now we just need to connect all this to the battery. By the way, I changed out all my nuts with uh, nylon walking nuts. That way they don't vibrate off. We got power. I'm not gonna cover up these just yet, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cover up the terminals here with liquid tape. Once I get the battery chargers on, I will go ahead and cover those as well. But for now, I'm just gonna cover up these. So this circuit breaker acts as a circuit breaker, of course, but also as a, a switch to kill the power, so. When I'm charging, I will most likely kill. Oh my gosh, that's already dry. No, it's not. Almost dry. Anyways, when I'm charging the batteries, I will most likely break this circuit just so uh, I don't mess up the trolling motor. But let's see if this uh, lid still goes on here. And it doesn't. Okay. We need to make a few adjustments here. Okay, now the battery box lid should go on. Okay, so this is what we got. We got the circuit breaker here, just kind of floating off. Looks pretty ugly. I kind of want to drill some holes in the battery box and then screw that right there. So I'm going to be using a double washer, one on the outside, one on the inside, just to make sure that this is strong and sturdy. liquid tape all of these uh, bolts right here just to play it extra safe okay so that is how that looks there's barely any wire it's all in the rib and then goes straight to the battery right there the circuit breaker is screwed onto the side of the box which is awesome but real quick i know you're not supposed to do this but i'm going to test out the trolling motor real quick well it says in the manual you're not supposed to do it outside of water but it should be all right all right here is the true test let's go ahead and turn this on there she is folks works like a charm All right, that was a success. Now I just need to vacuum all these bugs off my boat. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the circuit breaker off and test it out again, because it shouldn't have power now. All right, sweet, we are golden, folks. Okay, so now we got the trolling motor connected to the battery. We can now take this out on the lake and have a motor, or at least a trolling motor. But in the next video, I'm gonna get back to working on the back deck get some carpet on that it should be dry by now or by tomorrow so uh we'll get that back in the boat and continue working on that but i hope you all enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll catch y'all in the next one peace